Yeah. Hey guys, it's uh, Mike Womack here at Queen of Power Gym in Kansas, Texas. Um, been uh, been looking at some emails uh, that uh, me, myself, and Henry Thomas have, have been getting, and uh, I had a guy named Ryan uh, Carrillo uh, send me uh, uh, an email, and basically what it was was that he wanted to know. Uh, it's kind of brief. It just says injury prevention and management. Um, injury prevention and management is probably uh, it's probably, I, I'd say if you had a, a pie and it was cut into one-third, that injury prevention is going to be uh, one-third of the, the whole, you know, you got your injury prevention, you got your workout, and then, of course, you got your, um, your gear and, you know, all your technique and all that good stuff, I think, falls into another category. But uh, injury prevention is huge. Um, what I do is I try to focus on uh, eliminating a lot of inflammation because that's your, kind of your warning sign uh, that, you know, that area is taking on a lot of stress. Um, typically, it's going to be in your elbows, your shoulders, and sometimes even in your wrists. Uh, a lot of times it comes in the form of, uh, you know, people think it's arthritis, and, you know, really what it is is it's, usually it, it ends up being a nerve, a muscle that's inflamed that pushes up against the nerve, causing inflammation. Uh, so what I do is, is I try to eliminate a lot of inflammation, and the great thing about that when you do that is you also uh, speed up your recovery time because the body's not distracted by the inflammation that's caused. So one of the ways that I do that is um, I usually modify exercises. So if someone's doing, let's say, uh, tricep extension and they, they want to go really heavy because they're power lifting, that's what's in our nature uh, is to go really heavy. So in, instead of doing, you know, 150 pound tricep extension, full range of motion, I cut the range of motion. Basically, we start at lockout, we'll come about halfway up, and we go back down. And what this does is this also allows you to hit your central nervous system, which, as you guys know, is huge uh, for what we do. Um, puts the body into a fight or flight situation. And if you can do that on an assistance workout, that's even better. Um, but uh, I also, what I do is I try to eliminate certain exercises. Uh, like if, I, if I'm getting somebody that has me train them, first thing I'll do is I'll look at their current exercises that they do, and I'll try to go through and kind of audit what they're doing. I'll eliminate certain like one of the exercises that I usually eliminate would be uh, full range of motion, bicep curls, uh, incline press, really heavy full range of motion dips. And, and if I don't eliminate them, sometimes I'll just modify them. You know, just like I said with the tricep extension, starting at lockout, coming halfway up. A dip, you'd start at lockout, come about a halfway down, push back up. And like I said, that also allows you to add more weight. Uh, on. Um, but, you know, one of, the, one of the other things where people miss the boat, especially with a lot of high school kids that I live with, uh, I mean, even the season lifters, they've been doing this stuff for, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, is they don't pay attention to the equipment that they use. And what I mean by that is if it's some, something as simple as wearing a, say a 36 inch wrist wrap instead of a 24, a 24 instead of a 14. Um, and then also, you know, when these wrist wraps get, get worn out, you need to replace them with a new pair. Um, uh, and, you know, kind of the same to be said with, you know, knee wraps and stuff like that. Um, but, and, and then also, you know, within your gear, and I know I'm getting into a whole other situation here, but, you know, sometimes people will, when, uh, sometimes, most of the time, people will wear a shirt and they'll break it in and then they just turn around and buy a new shirt. What needs to be done is that shirt needs to be modified and adjusted to their body types. Um, uh, and then that, that leads me into even something else. Uh, you get guys that get chest plates that are too tight on a bench press shirt, and this goes, this falls underneath the injury prevention category. If I'm supposed to be wearing a 50, but I think I can get 50 more pounds out of a 48, and I put that 48 on, and I decide to do, okay, well, let's see how far we can get this down. And I come down about two inches from wherever I'm supposed to be, press it back up, rack it, okay, let's add more weight onto the bar. What's going to happen? You're going to tear up that shoulder. Um, so there's a, there's, a, there's, a whole, there's a whole sphere of things going on there. One, the chest plate's too tight, the, sh the stroke's getting longer, uh, trying to come down without using boards and actually stretch the shirt within the groove. I mean, uh, th this whole thing that we do, in this sport is, is a process, and uh, but anyhow, make, make sure you just you know just kind of to wrap it all up. Make sure you got the uh, the right gear, you got the right wrist wraps, you got the right size chest plate on the shirt, 
uh, definitely uh, go through and modify your workout. If anything's giving you like pain, causing inflammation, identify what that what that exercise is, eliminate it, or try to modify it to the point where it's not going to cause the inflammation. And uh, and make sure you remember uh, if you uh, go to the blog there on innerstepowerlifting.com, I'll be looking forward to more questions and. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them here in the future.